hi work fam so today i have one very important gist for you guys but we're going to make this very soft very sweet chocolate bread and i'll show you just how i made it in a moment if you're a newbie here please check the screen on the description of how this meal was made and check the description box for the list of ingredients used and their measurements and if you have any question that's why the comment section is open you can ask your questions away if you have any meal suggestion that you want to be made on the channel please ask or drop it in the comment section i'm sure the old people already know that beginning part of the video by now in fact when i'm saying it they'll be saying with me because they pretty much know that already but we'll always do that for the sake of the new people who join us so today hmm, you guys so if you if you know me personally or if you know me um outside youtube maybe on my ig or on my whatsapp you know that i go to the gym and um that person that i know that this thing i'm doing at the gym i know i can see the result right but sometimes i just don't want to i just ignore the fact that i'm making progress or um i can see changes and all i just ignore it and focus on my life but something happened recently so two people who um i i don't know subconsciously i think i look up to them in one way or the other or i kind of seek their validation i don't know but they said to me differently not at the same time they said to me that uh -uh, this gym that you're going to is working you know see the changes in your body and if you see the happiness that i felt i was like ah 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 or more like say this thing when i did do all the work and then i just go oh so last time the second person who told me was on my way back from the gym on friday and when i got up i was like ah esther do you know how happy you are to hear that this person said it's something that you can see it in your body that this is working but you never really felt like that type of way you never felt this type of happiness and it just clicked in my head that i sometimes seek validation from people right and so today i want to talk about validation and self-awareness before we get right into that I've noticed something that when you're kneading bread by hand, like if you want to knead your bread, if you want it to be softer, add more butter and knead it. So I feel I realize that the more butter you add, the softer it becomes. You just have to work it with your hands and you get your desired texture and okay. So back to our gist. So I used to always tell myself sometimes that I'm a very self-aware person. You know? I'm a very self-aware. But after Friday, that was just like I was just questioning myself that are you sure this your self-awareness touch everywhere are you sure there's no some part of your self-awareness that you are not so aware of and then it clicked in my head that self-awareness is a journey it's not something you wake up one day and say i'm self-aware today i'm a self-aware person from this day henceforth i will never doubt myself i will never seek validation self-awareness from now henceforth da 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 another quick break so i did not want to need the um chocolate bread differently from the plain and so i'm going to teach you this trick that you could use if you are needing if you are kneading the bread by hand and you just want to do it once and for all you can knead the whole dough that's if you're separating the bread you're making two different colors or two different flavors you can knead the whole dough and then cut it into two or into different shapes and add chocolate paste to one and knead it in just the way i'm doing it like this but if you're making chocolate bread trout you can just add the cocoa powder to your list of your dry ingredients that's when you're adding your flour your sugar you can add the cocoa powder then and mix it all up together and knead away so back to our gist and i was like this yourself awareness no touch everywhere it gets from part when you touch it gets part when you touch. so basically i just realized that self-awareness is a journey right and imagine that those two people that told me oh this thing is working had said ah ah be like say this is your gym when you they go you they waste money for them because i know they see any change but i know like in heart of hearts that uh, nah that's not true and i was imagine me seeking validation from those people now and they say those things i will now begin to doubt myself doubt the work i've put in do you understand so moral of the story right what i've then realized is we need to come to a point in our life where we where we try to seek less validation from people especially when you're putting in the work right especially when you are doing all the work you're putting in the work you know you're putting in the work in fact you see change we need to come to understand and accept or congratulate ourselves for the journey for the changes we've made and you know just accept and celebrate ourselves instead of waiting for people to always because truth is truth of the matter i've realized is 
people will not always congratulate you right people will not always tell you oh you did great you did well some people will see your struggle and see your success and wouldn't say anything about it so just imagine if those two people were people who are like mm, think this one they do or people are like hey eh? mm-hmm. just get it they just ah ah but then they go ahead because you know there's some people like that they just go ahead and tell you hmm, you're wasting time you're wasting money and i now seek validation in those things that they said and now begin to feel bad and now begin to doubt my journey doubt myself and just doubt everything basically but i was doing the right thing and then i probably just quit and say you know what i'm wasting money in fact i'm not doing it again i quit i don't know if you guys understand what i'm talking about seeking validation from people most times would always lead down the ditch do you understand i'm saying this from this my story that was not a down the ditch moment it was a an uplifting moment yeah but i'm the kind of person that when something happens i would think about it from 10 different angles and i would try to get the moral of the story from the 10 different angles right and so i thought about it i was happy i was happy i was happy for a couple of minutes and then on my way up i just said do you know what what if this was not the kind of comment that you'd have liked would you have still felt this type of way do you understand so more of the story is let's try as much as possible to seek less validation from other people put in the work and understand that you're in your growth process let's just be self-aware let's grow in our journey of self-awareness i'm on i'm on this journey of self-awareness and i hope you start your own journey too and try to doubt yourself less do you understand give yourself credit for all the things that you do and accept the credit that you give yourself don't doubt it because it's coming from you do you understand put in the work and give yourself credit and take the credits take the credits that you give yourself more than you would you was the word now you would crave other credits from people mm. so oh my god this bread this bread let's come back let's come back to this bread this bread is see when i finished baking this bread i shared this and gave it to a couple of my friends and no bad reviews you know how kizana used to say no bad song this bread was no bad review this bread was it see the chocolate bread the plain bread you people this bread like as it's ready like this eh? see coffee juice yogurt and if i what i use what and drink this bread you will you will you will not forget it is it is an unforgettable you should try this recipe take it from me not because i made this recipe but it's something that you should really try and i promise you you will love it so much i'm not kidding you're going to love it so if you watched our video last week you understand why there was no poll this week and also the poll for next week is going to start on monday and end on wednesday so please watch out for the poll on monday mornings and try to cast your vote before the poll ends by wednesday so that you will not be left out mm? you will not be left out and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet stay safe stay warm and